Hi there guys, Jack here from Pure Creative Designs and in this tutorial I'm going to be looking at creating this navigation bar and using it in Dreamweaver CS5. Now um, as we all know Dreamweaver CS5 does not have the um, navigation bar um, drop down menu that that's CS3 and CS4 have. So a lot of people don't know how to put a um, navigation bar in, it's really simple takes a matter of seconds. So for this we're going to be using Photoshop. So if I just show you what this looks like, preview it in Firefox. You can see we have this nice the nice rollover effect on this here. So we have our home tutorials, downloads, gallery, contact. You can have whatever you what you want on this. It's pretty easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm going to go file new. All right. Now, I'm going to be making my width 900 and my height 50. That's what it was in the other one. And I'm going to choose OK. So I'm going to go down here and get the rectangle tool and I'm just going to col colour this in or fill this in with a rectangle. OK, so that looks alright. See there's just a little bit on the bottom there. If you need to just um, change that, you can hit Ctrl and T. That'll bring it to transform, you can just uh, move that down. OK, so as you can see, I want to fill this with a nice dark grey. So I'm going to go to Effects, Colour Overlay. OK, let that load. And I'm going to be using a nice grey down here. Okay, if you want to use the same, it's just going to be 2A, 2A, 2A. Okay, and okay again. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get the rectangle marquee tool. Uh, we're going to create a new layer down here. And we're going to create a rectangle in the middle, about halfway, like so. And we're going to choose Alt and Backspace, and that will fill that in white because our foreground colour there is white. That's a little trick, you can always use the fill. But what we're doing here is we are creating the nice gloss that we've got at the top of this one. Okay, so I'm going to take the opacity down to 15% for this one. Sorry, no, I'm not. 5%, uh, sorry. Take the opacity down for 5%. Okay, so now we have this nice little gloss on the top of here. Maybe if you want to move it up a little bit, you just click on the layer and you can just use your arrow keys. But I think that's around in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my text tool. And the uh, font I'm using is Reader Pro. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out what how many links I want. You can have as many as you want, but for this I'm going to be doing five. So I'm going to be doing Home, and maybe Tutorials, and then Downloads. Just space them out. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect for now. Gallery, and let's do... Uh, let's have a go at um, let's do contact as well okay so as you can see they're not in the right place at the minute uh, I can sort them out later but um, this is just going to be a brief of what we can do okay with these so I'm going to have five buttons now you can do whatever you want if we do 900 because our um, documents 900 pixels in width. If we do 900 divided by 5, I think it comes to 180 if I'm right. Uh, I think that is right, yeah. And um, I'm going to get over here to my ra um, rectangle marquee tool and the style I'm going to choose to fix size and I'm going to make the width 180 pixels and the height to be 50. And I'm just going to click anywhere, okay, and that's going to insert this. I'm just going to drag that over to the edge of the document like so. Now I'm going to cl click um, Alt and Backspace and that's going to fill that in white. But first I need to um, uh, create a new layer. So I'm going to create a new layer first. Then Alt and Backspace and that's going to fill that in for me. Now I'm going to want the um, width of my, um, sorry, the opacity to be 15% on this. So when we roll over we have a nice little um, type of effect. Nice, um, like I can't really describe it. It's just like this nice see-through effect. It just looks pretty smart. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, as you can see, my text is completely off, and we just created this here. So this one's going to rename this maybe Home Over. It's going to be our little rollover effect. So on my home text, I'm going to make sure I'm on my home text. Holding Control, I'm going to click the thumbnail of that we um, little uh, opacity thing that we just created, the little gloss. So I'm going to click on that, and as you can see, it's brought the little March Nance, as they call them. And making sure I'm on my selection tool, I'm going to come up here and choose Center and it to be uh, aligned center okay then I'm going to hit control D to deselect okay so that means our text is completely in the middle now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these um, so I'm going to hit control J 
and I'm going to move it over by holding shift, click, hold shift, drag it over until it gets to the end. Okay, I'm going to do the same again. And again. So I'm just clicking, holding shift. And as you can see, it gets to the end perfect. So there's our five buttons, okay? So what I'm going to do is I know that number two there is going to be our tutorials one. So I'm going to unhide all the other ones and just leave this one to see to be like shown so that we know that that one there is our tutorials one so if I go to my tutorials text here and I cl control click onto that thumbnail again it's going to be the marching ants I'm going to make it center and in the middle okay so now we have our text tutorials text perfectly centered out there right okay so I'm going to unhide that and I'm going to solo the downloads one okay like so I'm going to go to my downloads text control click on the thumbnail uh, center that as well. So I'm going to click both centered. Control D, deselect that. Okay. Then I'm going to hide, um, unhide that, and hide um, solo the gallery one. Make sure I'm on my gallery text. Control onto the um, gallery rollover bit, and go center them as well. And the last one for contact. Make sure I'm on my contact text. Control onto the thumbnail, and do the same. Uh, okay. So once I've done that, I'm just going to unhide this. We have just the um, normal images like so. So that is how we do our um, uh, actual navigation bar. Now, as you can see, this is just one big image. If we plonk this into um, Dreamweaver, you can have no result. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight, highlight all these again, like so. And if we highlight them one by one, okay, so we just highlight the home first one for our home text. We zoom in a bit. We're going to go over here to where our pan, um, not sorry, our crop tool is, and I'm going to click and choose slice tool. So click holding down and choose slice tool, and I'm going to slice out the home button until the end of that, the glossy bit. Okay, then I'm going to highlight my um, tutorials one. I'm going to click drag until the end of that one, like so. Then I'm going to highlight my downloads one. I'm going to do the same. Go across. Do my gallery one. good and then my contacts one now you can do this for a number amount of um, uh, buttons I'm just using five but as you can see we have five separate images now okay so I'm just going to get, click back to the normal tool now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhide all these now so it means we just got back to our normal image and I'm going to go to file save for webbing devices Okay, so that's a crucial part. Now I'm going to be saving all my um, images as a JPEG. So I'm just going to make sure that they're all JPEG. Clicking on them. If you want to move over, just get the little hand tool. And I'm going to make sure. So as you can see, they're all JPEG here. You can choose down, but I'm going to make them JPEG and my quality to be 60. Because that means that it's only going to take one second to load up on a normal 56.6kb uh, PS internet connection. Okay, so that's just like bog standard. So you want it to be, you know, load up as quick as possible, but look good. So I'm going to make my quality about 60, um, making sure I'm on high, obviously. Okay. Oops. High. So about 60. So once I've done that, I'm going to hit save. Okay. Then I'm going to go to my root directory for, you know, my local root folder for my website. Now I'm just going to go into my images folder. I'm just going to delete these because these are the ones that I did for the, um, you know, the, the example. But inside of here, I'm just going to, where it says file name, I'm just going to choose um, navbar, because that's just short for navigation bar, and I'm going to save that, like so. And there we are, so that's saved. Now I'm going to do the exact same, but just highlight all of these, so that's our rollover images added. I'm going to do file, save for web devices, let that load up. These should be all saved as JPEG now, okay, hit save. Then I'm going to go into that images folder and I'm going to choose nav over. Okay, so that's going to make show that they're the over images. Okay, so once we do that, we finished in Photoshop and we're going to go to Dreamweaver. And I'm just going to delete this index.html that I just created. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to create a new one and I'm just going to just name it index for now. You can do this wherever you want. You could do this in a template because you might want to add this in. Okay. So I'm going to do index.html. Alright, okay. So let's first, I'm just going to put this as navbar. My title, exclamation mark, make it shout out. 
Okay. Now I'm going to make sure I'm insert tab over here put in. So if you don't have that, you can go to Window Insert, and that'll bring this tab in. So I'm on the Common tab, and I'm going to insert a div tag. So this is what is going to hold our um, navigation bar. So I'm not going to mess around with anything now. I'm just going to choose the ID to be a nav bar. I'm going to make it a new CSS rule. Uh, that's okay. Just applies to this HTML element. Okay, and I'm going to choose the box size to be 900 because we know that is the width of our um, thing from Photoshop and the height to be 50. And where it says margin, I'm going to uncheck same for all, and I'm going to make right auto left auto. Okay, and the border, I'm going to choose solid. Width is going to be two pixels, and I'm going to make it black. Hit apply. Okay. Okay, and there we are. We have our nice navigation. Um, sorry, yeah, navigation div, if you could call it that, inserted. So as you can see, it's centered out. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this text, like so. And then all we have to do to insert our navigation bar is just insert a rollover image. So I'm going to get the rollover image. This one's going to be called index. Oops. Or actually, it's going to be home. Okay, original image. Let's browse to this. Go into my images folder images again and then we have the normal home okay then we're going to browse again and we're going to go into the other images folder and it's going to be home nav over 01 that's the home one now um, you can have alternative text no real need make sure preload rollover images text um, checked and um, where it says when click go to URL choose browse and then I'm going to choose index because that's the only page I have but that's how you link them up to any other pages okay but you can um, just I'll show you in a sec but um, that, you, that's how you link them up. So yours, you're gonna have more there. You're gonna have for every single image, you're gonna have a file that you, it's gonna link up to. So you just hit browse and you'd browse and click on that index file or whatever file that your button wants to go to. Okay. But if you do actually um, forget to do it, you can just click on the image and choose link, and you can just link it using the pointer file and just drag it over like so. Um, that's just if you forget. Now I'm gonna insert another rollover image again. This one's gonna be tutorials. Okay, we're going to browse for that. I'm going to go up one. That's going to take me back, and I'm going to choose tutorials because I'm going to want to make it my normal image. And I'm just going to go into my images folder and choose tutorials for the over button. I'm not going to link this up because I don't have anything to link it to. Okay, I'm going to do the same again. Insert a rollover image. This one's going to be downloads. Browse that image. Go up one. Downloads. Okay. Okay again. Oops. Sorry. Browse. Go into that file, choose downloads. Okay, let's do the same again. Into another rollover image. This one's going to be gallery. Browse uh, one. So we go back, gallery. Browse again, images and then gallery. There we are. And the last ones are contact page. Choose contact. Original image is up one. That one there, and our rollover image is that one there. Okay, so there we have it. That's it. We have our nice navigation bar. So if I preview that in Firefox, I'm going to save the changes, and there we have it. Oops, loaded twice. <laughs> there we have it. There's our nice navigation bar with the rollover. Now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. If you liked it, then please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com/pcreatedesigns, and have a good day. See you guys.